looks like I'm very close. I'm just tubes are slowly over to this side. I think that's probably because they're not at an angle. I think you can see that they're not at an angle there. It's probably more to do with the positions of the pillars. So I think I can take that out with a little bit of adjustment on the pillars for the final assembly. So that's that's good. I think we've we convincingly got away with uh, with not screwing that up completely, so that's good. So let's assume our tubes are now in the right place. So now we need to put our LEDs the rear illumination for the tubes and also the LED for the dot dot indication in the middle. the dot one first. So positive and assumes the long leg. We should really check that. So I'll get my little coin cell here. Positive at the back. Yeah. There we go. That's a very neon-y colour, isn't it? So I'll still a good choice of LED for that. Now we here we'll check these follow the same convention. And they do, that's blue LEDs. So in terms of alignment it looks like this it does sit right up onto the front panel there. Maybe even protruding through a little bit, but obviously you can have difficulty pushing that in and un and taking it out again. Put something else on a bit too tight in there. And of course, if I want to build up this, I'm going to have to build it up again, aren't I, to get the height of that right? So build up our kit again. There we go, so that's kind of jigging the height of our LED for us because the LED is kind of stuck in the front panel there. So I'm just going to solder that in place using this as a jig without melting the, without melting the perspex hopefully. Just drops out there, that's good. So that's the LED positioned. So now we need to do the rear ones. So the instructions show you that you should reform all the leads, just like that. And the positive is on my right hand side at the back here. So on the longest leg on the right hand side. So it looks like we're bending the leads right on the back of the LED again. So right to the back of the LED like that. And then we should oh yeah that one's <laughs> they're only just gonna reach aren't they? They really are very close. Needs a bit of a tweak on there. We need to stop them hitting the, uh, getting too close to that pin coming through there. So I'm going to have to crop I'm going to have to crop the pin in the middle. I might as well do the ones either side while I'm here. Yeah, those raining down all over the room. <laughs> and then we do need a bit of height. 
So I'm going to have to kind of form this so that it comes up from the LED a bit, across and then down, like a bit like a bridge. So I'm going to just pull those away a little bit and then just tweak a little bit like that. So sort of that kind of bridge formation. Do that. So I think there's plenty of height, perhaps a bit too much actually. I think I've probably gone a bit too far with the bridging there. So I'm just going to go back to actually having it tight to the LED. I need this to reach as far as possible. And that one just to dive in at the end. Let's try that. Yeah. I'm reasonably happy that that literally only just reaches, but that looks like it's going to be okay. So, so that one. So, if you can see that, but we've got plenty of clearance there to the, uh, to the soldering joints underneath that connect to the Nixie tube. Um, looks like the LED's in the right position there, so that's good. So I'm just going to repeat that on the next three. So, Okay, so what's next? Oh. Nothing. We're done. That's a... oh, exciting. I think we're about ready for a power up to see if we're actually functioning or not. So, our last visual check. I'm not sure what this preset's for. It's not mentioned anywhere. So what about any usage instructions? No, that's all about that. So let's just leave it in mid position, which it is. Let's give it a go. Bring in the power bank. Let's see what happens. Get ready to unplug it quickly. Okay. We have something. Backlight LEDs are pulsing as well. See the blue LEDs pulsing up and down slowly. So, I wonder what this preset does it change the voltage? No. It would appear that is the voltage adjustment because it's. Nixies collapse if we don't have it so high and then. So that would appear to be the voltage adjustment, so I'll just leave it in the middle for now. A little bit of flickering going on, but that might be intentional. I don't know what the patterns are for the, uh, the digit changes at the moment. Let's go back to this. The time setting mode is button 1, which I guess is going to be this one. Let's set the value. Okay, that's good. Set that. We've got plus and minus. There we go. Yeah. So plus and minus, we can set the time. I guess we have to hold it again to get out of that mode. We go 6.34. Right. Well, given the time, I'm going to call it a night at that. So we'll I'll complete this uh, 
probably tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll conclude conclude the video there. Catch you tomorrow. Bye bye.